motion to accept the agenda as read. Support. We have a motion by Councilman Woolley, supported by Councilwoman Croft, to accept the agenda for tonight. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 All those opposed say no. Motion carries. Next tonight is a regular agenda for tonight, and I'm just going to read a little bit about exactly what this meeting is for. A uh, special meeting of the City Council can be called by the clerk on the written request of the mayor, council chairman, or any three members of the council on 24-hour written notice to each member of the council, designating the purpose of such meeting and served personally or left in the usual place of residence by the clerk or someone designated by him or her. But any special meeting at which all members of the council are present or have waived notice in writing shall be a legal meeting for all purposes without such notice. Um, the meeting of today has been called to consider the override of the mayor's veto of City Council Resolution number 3.146-18. The original motion approved by City Council reads, to approve area towing for the City of Taylor Police Department towing services and to direct the administration to negotiate a contract with area towing to be brought to City Council for approval. Contract term shall be for an initial period of three years with two three-year extension options to be approved only with City Council approval. J&M Towing shall be listed as the sole heavy-duty subcontractor within the area towing contract to be negotiated by the administration. The reasoning for the mayoral veto from the mayor's letter, the mayor submitted a veto citing that he believes the resolution exceeds the length of terms specified in the RFP as well as the City of Taylor purchasing policy, section 6.4 service contract. Uh, per special meeting guidelines, in accordance with the Open Meetings Act, Council will consider only item number four on our agenda tonight, followed by adjournment. Due to this being a special meeting to consider only item number four, there will not be an open business portion of the meeting. However, audience members who wish to speak on the item being considered are welcomed to speak on this item once for up to three minutes. Per our City Council rules, Council asks that you speak directly to the motion itself, and all comments must be germane to the motion being considered. With that, we'll get into the motion, the regular agenda tonight. Item four: It's a motion to override the motion to approve the override of the mayor's veto of CCR 3.146-18 and all resolutions contained therein, adopted at the regular city council meeting held on March 20, 2018. We have a motion by Councilwoman Croft, supported by Councilman Mazura. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman? Mr. Mayor? Um, just uh, going back to the item that you read in the agenda, um, I, I really can't add much more to that um, other than what was read. My concerns, um, as I stressed at the, at the regular meeting, um, were with the terms, and of course the purpose of the veto were um, strictly related to the terms of the contract. So I think it's pretty clear, but um, certainly if there's any questions, I'd be more than happy to address them. Thank you, Mayor. Is there any further discussion? Councilman Johnson. Yes, can I ask uh, the police chief to come up? I'd like to ask him a question. Sure. Chief. Chair, Council, Mr. Mayor. Chief, would you, uh, are you still in support of the three, three contracts, three different towers? with a one year, one year, one year? Councilman, uh, Deputy Chief Hopper and Commander Shrewsbury were directed by myself to do a full background investigation. They provide me with their recommendations and I stand by those recommendations still tonight. So you, you, you agree with the administration's recommendations of the three towers and one, one and one? I stand by our recommendation, Councilman. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. Councilman Woolley. But your recommendation didn't have anything to do with yours. It was just about each tower, correct? Our recommendation was based upon the RFP and the con uh, contents with it. Okay. The RFP that expired in 2017. Cor correct. Yeah, that was uh, the, the terms of uh, the RFP was what we we're looking at, not the specific uh, dates that were on that. Okay. Mr. Chairman, through the chair, Mr. Uh, and you still support all three towers? Uh, I stand by our recommendation. Okay. Councilman Remick. My concern is that uh, Chief almost said, I'm good to go. Uh, my concern is that here, uh, these, by having three years with full blown three years behind. 
behind us. I voted no to begin with, and I will continue not to support. I will not support this company, Area Towing, after everything that we have been made aware of in reference to this company in the past. He's been on the news for his company in the past with, with, with certain things. And I have a hard time awarding a contract that so many people pretty much have been running to the ground by making large amounts of payments. We've had insurance companies call us, call us and ask why we're going on. Councilman, I'd ask that we please speak to the override of the mayor's veto. Uh, we voted on it this is. contract. I'm about Excuse the three me, years. We're, we're asking that we speak exactly to the override of the veto. Well, then I, I would say this, that uh, my recommendation should have been one, two, and three, but I never picked area towing for their past. Thank you, Councilman. Mr. Chairman? Uh, Councilman Bezerra. My, uh, my issue really in terms of the veto is that looking at it from a purchasing policy uh, perspective, I've got a stack of contracts here in front of me that have been brought forth by this administration, have been voted on and approved by this council that exceed three-year terms. We've got contracts that either right out of the gate have more than three years or contracts that were due to expire that we went ahead and approved extensions to those contracts, which would be an exception to the spirit of the policy. If you're going to limit it to three, you wouldn't want to then approve extensions to get around that, except for certain situations where the administration and this council eventually voted to agree with making exceptions to that policy. And I've got a number of them here that I looked at, and the one big difference between the ones that I looked at and the towing contract is all of these contracts involve spending taxpayer dollars. There's monies being spent on these contracts for services like trash hauling, for services like golf course maintenance, for official payments, for a variety of things that this city has contracted for that if the terms are lived up to will exceed three years. And I'm okay with it. I voted for some of these. It's an exception to the policy. But to suggest that we haven't done it in the past is incorrect. And to think that the contract that we're going to take a stand on or make an issue out of, in terms of all the contracts that involve spending taxpayer money, we're talking about a contract that involves little to no taxpayer money. The city of Taylor isn't purchasing this contract um, or paying for this contract to the vendor or both vendors. So if I can see tens of millions of dollars going out to contracts that are greater than three years, I'm not overly concerned about this contract. And remember, this is only three years. It has to come back before council, and those extensions have to be approved. Mr. Chair. One second, Councilman. Um, just, I want to remind members and also everyone coming up to speak, we are speaking to the mayor's veto of this resolution. The resolution, I will remind everyone that the mayor has submitted a veto citing that he believes the resolution exceeds the length of terms specified in the RFP, as well as the City of Taylor's purchasing policy, section 6.4, service contract. We're not rehashing the contract again. Uh, we did that at the last meeting, so we were going to stick to the reasoning behind the mayor of veto. Councilman Remick. In other words, we still don't have a contract yet, correct? So we're not voting on a contract. We don't have one. That's correct. That's correct, Councilman. Excellent. And it, as Mr. Bazuro said, yes, I understand that other contracts have been done. But it's just the council's responsibility to make sure that this, the people who live and work in this city do not find themselves paying outrageous prices for towing. Mr. Chairman? Councilman Johnson. Uh, real quick, uh, in response to Dan's uh, comment, and, and I agree, we, we all, we've all gone through contracts. The main difference in my mind and I'll bring up an example of the water that we just didn't approve. We, we didn't approve it because it would have been a third year. We approved the second year. Well, we're looking at the same pricing. That is taxpayers' dollars, just like he stated. Two years previous is what they were charging. You can't tell me, and I know better because I've been in the industry for a long time, I've owned businesses that in two years your prices don't go up. So 
Taxpayer dollars is the reason that I vote for a lot of these contracts because they're holding their price, just like the, the golf course here. This, this, this contract at three years, the administration fixed the price at. That has them, you know, way to go administration. They fixed the price at. But three years, it don't benefit the city. It benefits the contractor. Why should the city benefit the contractor? Mr. Chairman? Councilman Bezzera. I'm sorry, I'll defer to the mayor. I think he jumped in before I know. Either way, uh, Councilman, if you want to respond, mine can wait till you're done. You know, I, I spoke at the study session and I spoke at the last council meeting in terms of benefiting the city. I, I strongly disagree. My point in working for three years with former Chief Scalasi uh, on the committee that ended up lowering the rates back in 2014, which um, eliminated a lot of the complaints that we were receiving, and then working on an RFP um, two years thereafter, was under the belief that the towing contract is an extension of our public safety mission. And that was important to me. It was something that I learned over three years of working on this process. So in terms of the benefit to the city, it's an extension of the public safety mission. I was simply trying to take the difference between a $20 or $25 million trash hauling contract or a million dollar golf course contract or a half a million dollar official payment contract and say those are true expenditures of taxpayer dollars and those involve contracts that either by design up front or through extension exceeded three years. Those to me are perfect examples of why we're here to talk about a veto. And the contract that involves little to no money being spent in terms of taxpayer dollars is just not the, the contract that I think um, abiding by or not making an exception to the purchasing policy is the contract that I would make a stand on.